What's up everybody, Tindo here, and I've been thrift shopping, and I bought exactly 40 video games. Well, actually, I think I ruined it. I think it's 39, because there's not actually a video game in here. Someone stole the discs out before I bought it. But we'll talk about that later. Also, I got something in the mail today from a viewer. That's a first. I have no idea what's in here. I have not opened it. We're going to get to that a little bit later, so stick around to the end to see what's in there. I can't wait. Should we just do it now? No, we'll wait. But I want to do it now. No, we're going to wait. Do you have any idea how hard it is to drive home and not open these things? <sighs> well, let's go thrift shopping and then meet me back here at the game room. We'll talk about everything that I got and we'll open that package. Today's first stop is brought to you by Rain. Monsoon season is upon us here in Phoenix. So let's get into this first Goodwill and take a look at what is there. And right off the bat, I'm pretty surprised to see a handful of brand new PS4 games. I got an employee to let me look at these games. And to be honest with you, I was pretty surprised at what I saw. A couple new PS4 games. Both of them I wanted. They both, well, one of them looked interesting. The other was Rock Band 4. And of course, some of you might know that Rock Band 4 still gets okay resale value. But they had it priced at about half of what I'd be able to sell it for. So I just passed up on it. But I am going to buy this Blobs game because it's only a couple bucks. Same with this Wii baseball game. It was only a couple bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get it as well. I thought really hard on this other platformer game that was set in there. But it was priced for more than it was on eBay. So I passed it up. And then over at the regular game section, there's not a lot here. It's all boiled down to just sports games, Wii Fit, a couple Kinect games, and a lot of Sim City. My next stop is the post office. And why am I video game shopping at the post office? Well, I'm not. One of my viewers slid into my DMs to let me know that he had sent me a package to my P.O. box. So this is the first for the channel. We've got mail, and we're going to grab this package out of this box, and we'll take it back to the game room, and we'll open it up there. So stick around to the end for that. The next stop of the day is a Deseret Industries. This is a Mormon thrift store, and I've made no secret on my channel that these are some of my favorite thrift stores. These guys never let me down. The lockbox is not very far inside the door, so I always check it first before I go back to the video games. And the last couple times I've been here, there's some really great stuff in here. But right now, it just looks like a few Star Wars games, a bunch of Wii Fit. Who would have thought? And there's a couple systems in here, but nothing great. Just an Xbox 360. And their systems here are usually really overpriced if they're in the lockbox. But sometimes the system alone will be on their shelves for just a few bucks. There's a Wii with a stack of Wii games in it. Another funny thing that they do is whenever they get a system to sell, they just go over to their game shelf and pull a handful of games off of that shelf and put them in the bag with the system. So those games in there are already priced like they were on the shelf because they were. And they just go pick a few off. It's a pretty interesting thing that they do. I never really see Goodwill do anything like that, but I always kind of get afraid that maybe I should just check those systems and the games that are tucked in with them in case a really good game was shoved in there. Because, you know, if the whole Wii is 30 bucks, then there's a copy of a $60 game or something in there, maybe, maybe I'll buy it. But I usually just pass them up and don't worry about it. I'm probably missing something good every now and then, but <sighs> anyways, back to the regular games. There's not a lot here so far. Here's one of these goofy kitty games. I actually already have a copy of this, but this one has its cardboard sleeve on it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I love the games with the cardboard sleeves on them. I don't know why. I just like them a lot. Here's a Corvette game that I just passed up. I don't know if I already have it or not, but I see it a lot. So it's just a game that I know that is out there a ton, so I'm not going to pay more than a dollar for it. Never played it, though. If you're familiar with it, maybe comment below. Is it a racing game? I don't know. I am from Kentucky, and I'm not too far away from where the Corvette factory is. Just an interesting little fact. It's in Bowling Green, Kentucky, if you didn't know. But there was a Harry Potter game. I actually just bought that a couple episodes ago, I think, but for a different system. But we're going to get it for PlayStation today. I'm going to go ahead and look at this other shelf that usually only has like PC games on it and stuff. There's a farming simulator game for the PC. I was at Walmart the other day, and they have that game on the Switch. I don't know what, it sounds crazy, but Farming Simulator on the Switch. There's a bunch of games up here I already have. And again, more Sims than I ever thought existed. They have some fresh carts out to put on the shelves. And there was this weird little Mario car, but it was clearly missing most of what was supposed to be in the box. 
This is the second stop today where I'm leaving with just a handful of three or four video games. Today's not going super great. I mean, the stuff that I've got, I'm happy with. I'm not complaining about that. But as far as numbers go, the last few episodes, the last week or so, I've really been killing it. I've been leaving every stop with five to ten games. And maybe this goodwill will change things. Maybe I'll walk out of here with a big stack. It's not about the numbers. It's just about the games. But I don't know. I just kind of noticed at this point in the day that Maybe I was not going to have the best episode ever, but we're going to see if we can't change that. There's some things here in the lockbox that look all right, but if you look closely, man, some of those prices are high, especially for it just being sports titles, etc. Six bucks here, eight bucks there. They look pretty expensive to me. There's some Gears of War in there that I didn't have, but again, too expensive. I'm just not seeing anything in here great. There's a Sim City game in there that I already have. There's a bunch of PC games in the bottom of that lockbox, but let's go over to the regular media section where this particular Goodwill has all but stopped putting games on their regular shelves. Uh, they've been having a problem with theft, so we're not likely to find a whole bunch here. There's some more PC games there. Kind of interesting how those are just tucked all over the store, but I'm not finding much, so let's go take a lap around the rest of the store, see if we can find anything that's worth leaving with. I was lucky enough to be there when they were just putting out some new stock. And I dug through it pretty hard, but I didn't really find anything that I needed. This guy though, he left with an armful of stuff. He must have beat me to all the good stuff. So a little bit later, while just meandering around this store, I came across this and I got really excited. GameCube Pac-Man, but nope, no discs in there. This is the second time in just a couple of weeks that this has happened at this exact Goodwill. This is what I'm talking about. Somebody's walking into the store, grabbing those games off the shelf, walking to the back of the store, putting the discs in their pockets, and leaving the case. <laughs> Such a bummer. Whoever's doing that, stop. Stop it, because I would really like to pay money for these games. That would have been such a great deal. I think it had a two ninety nine sticker on it. $3 for a two-disc GameCube game? Are you kidding me? Pac-Man to boot? Are you kidding me? Come on. But yeah, we're not going to leave with much here. I'm going to take this case and try to maybe get it cheaper, or I'll pay full price for it if I have to. It's still worth buying even without the games, because, well, a lot of reasons. Maybe I can replace another double-disc case that's broken that I have, or maybe I'll find the discs only sometimes. I've actually been finding a lot of disc-only games at GameStop, of all places. But over back to the lockbox now, I'm going to have one of the employees let me look at a couple of these games. Every week at Goodwill here in Phoenix, there is a different color sticker that is half off and a different color sticker that is a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and look at those color stickers and make sure there's no titles that are a dollar or half off that I really want. And there were a couple that I thought maybe I would get, but I didn't really end up buying anything other than this empty case and one other game. And that game was this one. And I simply just bought it because it was in a rather special type of case that I collect, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. And we had already checked out and we're about to leave when I noticed this guy. And to be honest with you, I'm still kicking myself for not buying this. I might go back tomorrow and see if it's still there. It's a giant M&M holder. I don't know what I'd put in it. Maybe my dice collection. I don't know. Maybe I'd actually put M&Ms in it. I don't know. But it's yellow and it matches my shelves. And I should have bought it. I don't know why I did it. I'm such a dummy. They had 30 bucks on it, which honestly for that kind of thing seemed like a really good price. On to the last stop of the day. Azia Records. One of my favorite places in the world. I went to Zia a couple of episodes ago. And I found that they had a bunch of stuff marked down. I bought as much as I could carry out on that episode. And I just couldn't stand thinking there were more $1, $2 games left over there at Zia. So I went back today. And I cleared them out almost completely of every $1 game, certainly. And probably more than half of their $2 games. And something tells me I'll be back there again this week at some point to do that again. But I want you to look at this. A Master System. And for only 64 bucks, that's not a bad price at all. Zia Records is really, really good at pricing their stuff cheap. But let's dig through these games at double time because there's a lot of stuff here. Wow, this is fast. This is making my eyes water. Can you keep up? Can you tell what that game is or that game or that game? If you guys happen to spot anything in this as I dig through these games that you recognize, that you like, and you think I should play, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. I'm playing stuff here at home all the time that you guys comment and say that I should try out. That's that's how I find all the good games. That's how that's what this is all about. Help me out here. Tell me if you see anything worth playing. But 
I'm basically at this moment just buying everything in here that is a buck or two because I am going for the complete collection of the PlayStation 2 and Wii pretty much before anything else. Those two are the ones that I feel like are the easiest right now. So anytime Zia has a sale like they do right now, I'm getting those bad boys. But I just want you to take a look at these two huge bags full of games that we're taking back to the game room right now. All right, guys, we're back in the game room. And that's a big haul. Way more than half of this came from Zia Records, as you saw. They've been marking all kinds of stuff down, and I've went back several days in a row. I'm going to go back again today and see if they put anything else out. Maybe buy another stack of 20 video games. I don't know. Let's just jump right into this. Like I said at the beginning, Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man double disc. The discs weren't in there. I found this in the back of a Goodwill. It had a $3 sticker on it, and she gave it to me for $1.50 because the games were missing. I didn't really try to haggle or nothing. I was still going to pay $3 for it. If nothing else, if I come across the double disc game in the future that's busted up and I need a replacement case, that's well worth $1.50. But man, do I wish that was in there. It's even a player's choice edition. <sighs> All right, next up, I paid way too much for this, but I've made no secret about my love for collecting really oddball things, and I'm collecting these Hollywood video cases, these custom Hollywood video cases. They never come with the manuals in them. Of course, this one, whoa, that's awesome. This one came with a receipt. I forgot about this. Hollywood Video, $20. So this is where someone bought it from Hollywood Video rather than just renting it. This is not a rental fee. Whew. 20 bucks. I do not like paying $20 for video games. I got that for a couple bucks. Let's see, MLB, the show, 07. A few sports titles today, but not a ton. Not as many as usual when there's a stack of 40 games. Madden 08. And then De Blobs 2. Does anybody know anything about this game? Comment below. Hannah and I like to play these kind of fun looking platformer games together. And this one looks like it might be a good candidate, but I don't know. Do I have to play Blobs 1 first? I don't know. Let me know below. Then that leaves a giant stack of Wii games. And a medium stack of PlayStation 2 games. Let's go. Oh God. I almost spilt them all over the floor. Let's go through all the Wii games real quick. The Bigs for the Wii. Monster High, Ghoul Spirit. Zuzu Pets, featuring the Wild Bunch. We have a series here on this channel where we play video games that look terrible in hopes to find video games that are actually awesome. And uh, this looks like one for Patrick. We're going to have to play that just for him. Popstar, Guitar. This is the only game I got today out of 40, well, I guess this one too, but the only one that I got today without its manual, that should have had its manual. These are all taped shut at Zia Records. You can't, you can't always tell. They, you can usually feel whether or not it's in there, but most of them felt like they did. It's harder to tell with the Wii because most often the manuals inside of a Wii are really light. Look at this banger. Is it a banger? Pony 2. Pony Friends 2. Might have to put that on the pile of bad video games, too. This one looks awesome. Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, the video game. I wonder if the video game has Robin Williams' voice in it. That'd be really cool. Little Pet Shop, Littlest Pet Shop. Wow. The littlest one. Madden 08, more Wii Sports. This is pretty awesome. Came complete in its box. I love these. I love these cardboard box sleeves. Sean White snowboarding road trip. And it's awesome. It's awesome that this is a Target exclusive. I think that might be the only Target exclusive I have that, well, at least that I know it is because it's on the label. I'm sure there's plenty of other video games that have been Target exclusives. Next up, Chicken Shoot. I'm having a little bit of deja vu. Like, I might have already bought this. I feel like I already bought this. But if I did, that's okay because I only paid a dollar for it. Block Party, 20 games. <laughs> I, I looked on the side to see if it said 20 games on the side, if that was part of the title. It is not. The name of the game is Block Party, and there are 20 games. Budget titles, man. Here's another budget title. Puzzler Collection. Puzzling fun for everyone. Over 2,000 puzzles, including word search, Sudoku, crossword, fit word. I do not know what fit word is, but all right. I'm not sure I want to know. Rango. I never actually saw this movie. Johnny Depp. The voice of the lizard, right? Maybe I should just go back and watch it and then play the game. Fantasy Aquarium World. It's a mouthful. Fantasy Aquarium World. 
use your Wii to create a virtual fish tank. Ooh, you know what we should do? We should put this in. We should create the virtual fish tank, and then in the background of the videos that I shoot here in the game room, right here on the CRT, we'll just let the uh, <laughs> we'll just let the fish tank play. That'd be dope, wouldn't it? We ski. This is another one that I was sitting here taking all the stickers off before I started shooting, and I thought I might already have this. But again, it was a dollar. I need to do better at checking my spreadsheet. Next up, Madden NFL 11. More sports. Iron Chef America, Supreme Cuisine. <laughs> really? Look, you use the Wiimote to fillet the fish. All right. Uh, kids Sports Crazy Golf. Play 72 holes of crazy mini golf. I'm into that. That might actually be fun. I love how the characters on the front almost look like Mies, but they're not Mies. World Party Games. Look at this. Party games from around the world. I guess this is just kind of a Mario Party knockoff kind of thing. Luxor 3. I've passed this up so many times at the thrift because I was like, this is definitely a dollar game. I'll wait to find that for a dollar. Now this one I'm actually a little excited about. I've never, at least to my knowledge, played any Marvel movie related video games. So here's one for Thor, God of Thunder. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to have to put this in just to see, you know. Just to see what a video game from that time looked like. And then Trivial Pursuit. I'm surprised this isn't one that has its own controller. But it says just play it with the Wiimote. Awesome. That's a lot of Wii games right there. Look at that. Next up. A stack of PlayStation 2 games. We'll start with SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Combat Assault. Very nice. Great, that's a greatest hits. Yeah, I just bought this game for the GameCube just a few episodes ago. Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Super into that, and it's all there. Bought this one in the desert for three bucks. Love it. Jimmy Neutron, complete. I love, I love the colors of all these Nickelodeon games, all the SpongeBob games. I've got a couple other Jimmy Neutron games. Da Vinci Code. I bet you this is just a video game full of puzzles. <laughs> Another fishing game. Mark Davis, Pro Bass Challenge. I have a surprising number of fishing games. It's kind of getting out of hand at this point. And bowling games. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. It's for the GameCube. I probably want the GameCube Complete Collection more than all the others. I'm going to have an easier time getting PlayStation 2 and we out of the way in the coming years, but I just want that GameCube collection bad, but you know, it's hard to find cheap GameCube games, but I'm happy to get one, even if it's a golf game. Next up, Rainbow Six, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three. I've been knocking a lot of these games out, and this one's near untouched. This one's in great condition. You know, some of you guys that collect video games, or at least just buy a lot of video games to play, you might notice this, but like, there are just levels of quality of video games. And sometimes you open one up and it's like nobody's been in here. Nobody's been in here whatsoever. That's what this one looks like. Star Wars. Star Flight. Star Wars. Star Fighter. Sure wish I could read. This one looks alright. Pretty good shape too. I mean it's a little scratched up. It's been used. Over the Hedge. It's all there. Interesting. I don't recall having seen this movie. I remember it. I remember it vaguely. Big Mother Truckers. <laughs> what? All right, we're definitely playing this one on our bad video game series. There's no... You know what, though? This is probably great. This is probably a heck of a good time. Full Spectrum Warrior. Ten Hammers. That sounds foreboding. Hey, this one's got a security... Security sticker in it. Ghost Recon. Greatest Hits Edition. Squad-based Battlefield Combat. Very nice. That's all the video games. Like I said, about 40 in total. That might be the most video games I've brought home in one day. I'd have to go back and look. I, there's an episode in the playlist for these live video game hunting videos where I went to a gaming expo and bought a ton of games for a dollar each. But it might not have been this many. 
But I'm not mad about it. That's a lot of video games. All right, next up, <clears throat> it's mail time. I, uh, I have a P.O. box. It's always down below all my videos if you ever feel like sending something. I'm not really asking for stuff, but I've, uh, I've made a few jokes on the channel about, you know, breaking the world record for owning the most Wii copies of Wii Fit, which is not a world record that's real that needs to be broken, but I've made that joke and then I had people harassing me immediately after to get a P.O. box so they could send me copies of Wii Fit. Do not be surprised if we open this up and there's copies of Wii Fit in here. But I don't know, I don't know what's in here. This is from Jacob and Maggie from Chicago. Whatever's in here, Jacob and Maggie from Chicago, uh, thanks. Unless it's, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Unless it's like sealed bags of fart, I don't know. Can you believe he's actually cut? Alright, how should we do this so that there's genuine surprise? I can't even tell what the shape of some of this is. All right, let's just, I'll pull it out, eyes are closed, you see it first, and then I'll open my eyes. All right, it was backwards. Indiana Jones 2 for Lego. Let's go. A Wii Lego game. We've got a lot of Wii games today. All right, I looked, I didn't see it though, I swear. Do you see what this is? I don't know if it's upside down or backwards. Hey, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. Let's go. There's uh, cheat codes inside of this one. Bonus and a receipt. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, next up. What else? What is this? We probably should save that for last. It's real big. There's other things. What is it? Whoa, I definitely don't have this one. Lego Lord of the Rings. Rip, I broke it. Jacob and Mackie, I dropped it. Bruh, that's going on the shelf right now. Look at all these Wii games! This is just gonna have to be a Wii game episode. All right, hold on. There's other things. What were, hold on, what were these? Those are awesome. I don't know what those are. Star Wars news in a single file. Uh, this is what it says. Somebody's website. I don't know. Artwork. Limited edition postcard artwork by Nick Brokenshire. That's awesome. I'm going to have to put these on my uh, cork board. Bonus. All right. This last thing is a really weird shape, and I can't tell what it is. Patrick! And I wore the Star Wars shirt. I'm going to cry. Somebody from Chicago sent this. Hold on, hold it. They must have seen when I... <laughs> if you haven't seen it, there's an episode, several episodes back, where I found this at Zia Records, actually, where I bought most of these video games today. And someone told me at that Zia Records that I just missed the Darth Vader, and someone sent it to... <laughs> it's awesome. R2 still has his price tag. I'm going to have to Google it. Hey, there's actually candy in here. I'm going to have to Google it and see how many more are in this set because that's awesome. Guys, that was awesome. Did you see this? We just got all this in the mail. And then there's some artwork in here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Maggie and Jacob from Chicago for sending that in. Um, thanks for not sending copies of Wii Fit, I guess, because that's really what I expected once I put the P.O. box up, because like eight people have messaged me saying, I'm just going to get you to get a P.O. box so we can send you Wii Fit. I've already got like 12 copies. I don't need more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Listen, before you run away, go over to our Twitch page and hit that follow button, please. Because we bring home random video games from the thrift like these and then we just stream them at random. And you're going to want to get a notification and come hang out with us when we do that. Also, here on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. We just passed 500 subscribers. We're going to keep climbing to 600. And we're going to get to 1,000 as soon as possible. And when we get to 1,000, we're going to do something super special. Super, super special. So, subscribe if you're watching so that we can get there faster. And, uh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to leave you there because we've got new video games to play. Thank you guys so much.
Peace out.